I am Famous Fat Dave, and I am taking you on a tour of holiday foods. Okay, it's time to name the number one holiday, technically speaking, and that's New Year's, which also happens to be the oldest of all modern holidays. It was first observed by the ancient Babylonians some 4,000 years ago. And of course, part of the current tradition of ushering in the new year often includes a champagne toast at midnight. So Eric, what exactly is champagne and what is it not? Champagne is a, a sparkling wine. It comes from the region Champagne, which is in France, located just northeast of Paris. You put sugar into some still wine, it will go into a second fermentation, and that second fermentation will lead to uh, effervescence. Champagne's always been associated to celebration, and mm -hmm. to festivity and rare moments. It's sort of a christening. I guess it makes sense, like the new year, the christen the new year. I understand that the proper way to open a bottle of champagne, it's not with a, with a pop and a spray. What you want to avoid is for any champagne to be lost. And people get hurt. I've seen people get a uh, yeah. cork to the temple. They're out for the night. I'm grabbing the cork firmly with my hand. Okay. And then just twisting the bottom okay. of the bottle, and then I can just feel it released. Oh, I felt that. I understand that the smaller and faster the bubbles, the finer the champagne. Yep, and in fact, uh, scientists have determined that there are 95 million bubbles in a bottle of champagne. That's a lot of bubbly. So Eric, I understand for the very adventuresome folk out there, there's an interesting way of opening a bottle of champagne. That's right, yeah, that's sabering and that's uh, quite a, an exciting way to do it. Legend has it that it was uh, Napoleon's mounted artillery officers that started that trend and using a blade to cut the top of the bottle off with a cork still attached to it. It's pretty impressive and if you'd like, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, this is the high stakes part of the evening. Now here we've got the bottle of champagne that's rested for a few minutes upside down. Uh -huh. You want the bottle to be very, very, very cold when you savor. Napoleon's, okay. here you go. This is, this might be a bad idea. So you've got the bottle at a proper angle. You don't want the cork to be uh, touching any of the fluid. Okay. And you're just gonna put the blade down, rest it on the shoulders, and, and a follow through movement <sighs> with the elbow, not the wrist. All right. Did I do it? Quite simple, wasn't it? Yeah. That was uh, exhilarating. You, you, I'm yes. exhilarated right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's toast to a happy and healthy new year. That's holiday foods, and that is champagne. <laughs>